switch off and be the observer. These are thoughts that I want to share following a beautiful weekend away. Have you ever had one of those weekends away where you've gone somewhere with someone new, someone you haven't really spent much time with before and there's always that, that risk, you know, how's it going to go? Are we going to get along? Is it going to be awkward? Uh, you know, are we going to want to do the same things? Anyway, had a great weekend away with some people and I really learned some things that I want to share in this vlog as I stroll on the way to work. So let's go. G'day, it's Rowan here from Your Life Designed. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about inspiring breakthrough to a healthier, wealthier, better version of you so you can live your life designed. I've just had a great weekend away and we went away with some people that we'd never gone away with before. And, you know, we thought about inviting them and thought, yeah, okay, you know, we get along with them in the, the casual basis when we catch up with them from time to time. But, you know, going away is next level. That's some pretty enclosed time together, particularly because we have two kids, they have two kids, and there's only two bedrooms, so it's pretty enclosed spaces. But some of the things that I learned about this time away was that for myself, I really know that I need to switch off from time to time. I really need to cultivate the art of just switching off and unwinding because with all this business building and thinking about your life design and my structural engineering business and all that sort of stuff, it's easy to come away and, and keep thinking about it. The cogs keep ticking over. I really had to concentrate this weekend on not looking at my emails, not checking up on things, not thinking about it too much and just saying to myself, you know what? just unwind just relax and so that was one of the best things i did this weekend Whew, bit of a hill here unwinding is just so important to just reset the mind stresses can build up with time and without even realizing it you know you, you might have some stresses one day and that that can very much continue through the next day and then then it just becomes a bit of a, a cycle after that so this weekend are really concentrating on breaking the cycle. Not that I'm an overly stressed person or anything like that, but it's just nice to unwind, to totally let go of it all. Going hand in hand with the whole concept of unwinding is being present, being in that space and giving those friends that we've invited away the time, giving our children our time, giving uh, my wife the time to just connect and conversate and you know, be present with each other. Our friends pointed out on the first night or second night that we were having dinner together after all the kids were in bed, there was no one there, you know, with their phone at the ready and checking things and distracting themselves from the moment. It was just great, great connection and a great feeling of being present and, as I said, unwinding. Have you ever spent some time with someone or, or met someone maybe and thought oh, that person's just a little bit kind of inconsiderate or I don't know there was something about their behavior that wasn't quite right well I found the complete opposite with these new friends that we went away with this weekend because they were very considerate and you can tell it's just their nature you know they weren't weren't going out of their way to be someone different but when they could see that you needed to do something or you were a bit stuck with something or you you know if you started cooking or if the washing up needed doing or whatever it was they were always there and offering their help now in my opinion one of the biggest reasons for someone being considerate versus someone being inconsiderate is Actually, it, it's to do with how observant someone is. When someone is really observant, then they can see that someone is in trouble or that, that someone needs help or that someone has been doing too much of something, you know, too much cooking or too much cleaning or too much looking after the kids or whatever it may be. It's these observant people who naturally have that sense of empathy and are willing to reach out and, and offer their help. Whereas I think the people who are a bit less observant 
they, they might not pick up on what's going on around them, so they don't realise that someone's feeling a bit stuck or that someone needs help with something. So yeah, I think one of the, the best traits of these people we went away with was how observant they were and how quick they were to offer a helping hand. So I always try to be as observant as I can because I think what they showed over the weekend was really admirable, was really good, always willing to offer a helping hand. Hope you got something out of that. Have an amazing day. Take care, bye. Wave to the camera. Wave, Kenny. <laughs>